Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about UX's West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect. My name is Roger Lomate, and I'm the President and CEO of UX Corporation, and I have the pleasure of walking you through one of the most intriguing cobalt plays in the world today. This presentation will focus exclusively on West Bear Cobalt Nickel. If you're interested in learning more about our uranium projects, please visit our website and look at the projects pages or look at the new corporate presentation video. UX originally discovered the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect in 2002 while looking for uranium on lock strike of the West Bear Uranium Deposit. In 2004 and 2005, as cobalt prices started to rise, uh, UX completed a 13-hole program that defined a continuous zone of cobalt nickel mineralization over a 175 by 75 meter area that remains open in, in all directions for expansion. In 2006, cobalt prices declined as smartphone craze started to ease up, and UX put the West Bear Cobalt Nickel project in the back burner because uranium prices were just starting to heat up. And with new discoveries at Shea Creek and a whole bunch of new sniffs of mineralization across the company's portfolio in the Athabasca Basin, the company's focus turned completely towards uranium. However, in the last year, watching investor interest in cobalt rise significantly and looking at the projects out there, seeing the tripling of the price of cobalt, we've taken a new eye to the West Bear Cobalt Nickel project and realized there's great opportunity for us to enhance UX shareholder value by looking at this project as it compares favorably to what we're seeing around the rest of the world today. The picture on this slide here is from Discovery Hole WB19 drilled in 2002, which encountered 10% cobalt and 3% nickel in that area that you're seeing right there on that slide. During this presentation, forward-looking statements will be made. Please review the cautionary language here before proceeding. This chart summarizes the key reasons why UX has decided to restart the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect and why we think it has great value for shareholders. Even the most pessimistic analysts see a significant supply deficit coming. In fact, 40% uh, growth in cobalt demand is needed to meet this supply deficit. 98% of all cobalt mined today comes from either a byproduct of copper or nickel mining and therefore is not responsive to changes in the cobalt pricing market or cobalt supply market. In addition, 65% of all cobalt today is mined in the DRC. There's a real demand for ethically sourced and stable supplies of cobalt to power that growth in electrical vehicle demand that we're seeing today. We feel the West Bear Cobalt and Nickel Prospect is ideally suited to help fill some of this need. There are four key features that make the West Bear Cobalt and Nickel Prospect such an interesting investment. One, it's grade. It's one of the highest grade cobalt deposits in the world today. It's open pit amenable, dipping at about 20 to 25 degrees and starting at a depth of about 15 meters and going down to 55 meters is still open-ended. It's a perfect open pit target. It's certainly open in all directions. Uh, we have not defined the limits of this deposit by any stretch. And it's located in Saskatchewan. In 2016, Saskatchewan was voted by the Fraser Institute to be the number one mining investment jurisdiction in the world. In November, UX embarked on the process of trying to figure out what the best way to extract the value for shareholders was with the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect. In January, we announced that we would be moving forward with the spin out of COEX as a new company, and it's our goal to have that spin out completed in late August and early September. This slide shows potential value of a West Bear Cobalt spin-out. We have our developers, eCobalt and Fortune Minerals, who both have resources, and they're in that 75 to $225 million market cap. We have our early explorers like Lyco and Cruise that have excellent land packages in known cobalt districts, and they're in that 15 to $25 million market cap. And then we have our explorers like US Cobalt and First Cobalt that don't ha have resources, but everyone do, does believe that they are onto something. West Bear seems to fit nicely in that sort of group, where the market cap's ranging from 70 to, to $225 million. With our modest $1.5 million program that's going to give us 30 to 40 drill holes, we should be able to get to a resource stage fairly quickly and slot nicely into that category. COEX Metal Corp is UX's 100% owned subsidiary and is the vehicle under which we will be doing work and spinning out the West Bear Cobalt project. 
The Cobalt Project is located in Saskatchewan in the eastern Athabasca Basin. In 2016, Saskatchewan was voted number one mining investment jurisdiction by the Fraser Institute. This part of the Athabasca Basin hosts several uranium mines. You can see that West Bear is right up against uh, operating uranium mines and therefore has a lot of infrastructure nearby, road and power lines across the property. This part of Saskatchewan is very mining friendly with a long history of mining and exploration. With that in mind, we have four key objectives to achieve for the spin-out. Two for our shareholders and two for the prospect. For shareholders, we want to execute that plan of the spin-out and then turn UX's focus back towards uranium resource growth at Christie Lake. For the prospect, we want to do our first program there to find mineralization in the primary area and then look to expand resources in the second and third priority exploration target areas immediately nearby and try to complete a first maiden cobalt nickel resource by the third quarter. What makes West Bear compelling and unique is its grade. It's one of the highest grade deposits known today and you can see here grades have been intersected in UX's drilling program up to 10 percent uh, cobalt and 3 percent nickel which is truly exceptional. If you were to average the grade from that previous table, uh, those holes would average 1% cobalt, which puts West Bear in a pretty unique position. Only the Bouazer mine in Morocco, the only primary cobalt mine in the world, producing 2% of the world's output, has a grade even close to that of what we see at West Bear. One of the key needs for the cobalt supply uh, to be stable are mines that have cobalt as the driving force behind all the economic decisions. Once again, if you look at West Bear, West Bear sits very favorably in terms of its value in situ in the ground. The gray lines here show the value of all the metals in the deposits if you were to multiply them by today's price. And yes, West Bear compares favorably. But more importantly, West Bear looks really good compared to a lot of the other potential operations and current operations out there when you consider that cobalt makes up the vast majority of that in-situ value as you see in blue. Cobalt will be making all of the economic decisions should West Bear move forward. This is a geological map of the West Bear area. Uh, you can see in, in highlighted in pink in the area number one, that's the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect. It's been defined over a strike length of 175 meters. It's got a horizontal distance of 75 meters. It starts at about 13 meters depth and goes to at least 55 meters depth. And quite frankly, it's open in all directions. Dipping at about 20 to 25 degrees to the south, the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect is certainly open pit amenable. It's certainly wide open for expansion. You can see in the bottom right corner, uh, some of the highest grade holes are right on the edge of that zone. We can also see in pink and green areas where historical work by Gulf Minerals identified anomalous cobalt and nickel concentrations, but they were never properly sampled for composite mineralization. We also like areas two and three where we see great potential from the historical work that wasn't properly sampled. You'll notice a number of holes. Beware, looks can be deceiving. Looking at a cross section of the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Prospect, it's very obvious that mineralization is focused at the bottom of that gray unit, a strongly altered, very strongly graphitic peelitic package in a very strongly faltered structure. You can see that historical drilling in those vertical holes by Gulf Minerals in the past failed to test the fault structure that hosts the cobalt nickel mineralization. And in those rare cases where it actually did, they did not assay for cobalt and rarely sampled for nickel. While there are a lot of holes in that map in the previous slide, it's pretty clear that most of them didn't hit the target. And finally, cobalt mineralization is very difficult to identify in the West Bear area, even when one's looking for it. We now see examples in historical work where the rocks that look just like those that host the cobalt mineralization at West Bear were logged but never sampled. So why be excited about the West Bear Cobalt Nickel Project? First, historical mineralization wasn't recognized and often it wasn't sampled. Two, that cobalt struct bearing structure not tested by historical drilling in most locations. And three, the limits of the mineralization that we do know about at West Bear have yet to be fully defined. With our current program of 30 to 40 holes, we hope to expand that zone and bring value to UX shareholders. Our action plan over the next couple of months at West Bear is to complete that phase one drill program of one and a half million dollars to give us 30 to 40 holes that will help us fully define the deposit. 
Second is to complete the Maiden Cobalt Nickel resource to do a 43-101 to be part of the, of the spin-out. And three is execute that valuation plan. Our goal is to have that completed by the end of August, early September. With just under $10 million in the bank at the end of February and a market cap of $90 million, UX is well positioned to execute its programs at Christie Lake and to do the spin-out at West Bear without the need of raising additional cash. Our company is eagerly anticipating the first drill results from the West Bear project and we can't wait to communicate those on to shareholders. And thank you for taking the time to find out more about our West Bear project. If you have additional questions, please contact us at the address above. Thank you.